All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So bring it in. We got to discuss. Um, oh, there's one thing I'm going to uh, pull up in one second here. So we're heading into the Worldwide Download Celebration. We now officially know the theme, um, which actually, yeah, let me pull these up. All right, here we go. Uh, Heated Showdown is the official name. I guess that doesn't really matter too much. But if we take a look at the countdowns, um, it does seem like the focus is probably going to be mostly on movies in general, um, especially with L.R. Turles as ECA during the countdown, right? So, I mean, this does seem very similar to, you know, the ninth anniversary, which the primary focus was, of course, the Gogeta and Broly movie, um, and then Superhero, right? Like, that's, like, the big, an like, you know, point of the ninth anniversary. And then the countdown, they focused on Turner of Power stuff, and we got SCR UI Goku uh, sign Goku's EZA. So, they gave us LR Turles, and we see, you know, Seven Days Garlic Jr., Wheelo, uh, Turles, Slug, and then we've got, you know, Cooler, Cooler, Android 13, and then Broly would be day zero on this order. Now, after Broly would actually be Bojack. Bojack is movie nine, then they go back to Broly for movie ten. So, at the point of this video is, I just... I do think it will probably be a little bit better for some of the things Dokkan has set up this year uh, if part two would be Bojack focused rather than the, uh, you know, movie 10 for Broly. Um, because I do think, like, it's good for them to set up Broly to be in a very good position right now. Um, you know, but, I mean, we did already have a Dokkan Fest Stellar Broly. So, and then we're going to get, a, like, basically another Dokkan Fest LR Broly. And we had Tech Super Saiyan Vegeta, right? And, you know, we got, like, Broly Chai and Lemo. So, we have a, a ton of really good, like, villain Saiyans who are going to work together. I mean, it's very possible that DBC Broly... I, I think one of the better things he could do is maybe be the Dokkan Fest and power beyond Super Saiyan be one of his leader skills. I think that could be really good. Um, but I think in terms of kind of filling out some of the holes on other teams and stuff like that, the BoJack movie would work the best. Now, during the 8th anniversary live stream, I've seen some discussion about this, Amatsu told us that they had all releases planned out until the 10th anniversary. So, at this point, that was about two years ago, he said they had everything planned out in terms of the releases. Probably not, like, celebrations and intricate little details like that, but at least, like, okay, like, Worldwide will be, you know, Broly, Goku, Super Saiyan 2, Gohan, Bojack, and then October is Daima, and then, you know, stuff like that. Although they might not have known about Daima all the way back then, but I'm sure, you know, the, the schedule will be slightly altered. So, uh, yeah, that's actually a good point. Uh, when Amatsu told us that, I, I am pretty sure that Daima, we're going to see Daima in, like, October, November. Like, like this stuff's going to be coming quick. And I'm sure when he said that, like, they didn't have that. So there is going to, you know, eventually we'll get to what was originally probably going to be for, like, October or November or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But last year, I, like, knowing Amatsu said that and seeing just how bad, like, everything was, it just didn't make a ton of sense, right? So, like, again, Amatsu said they had everything planned out until the 10th anniversary, yet, you know, Yellow Queen LR Goku, base Goku, Dokkan Fest LR, base, or do, just Dokkan Fest TUR, base Goku. And then we get over here, Carnival LR, base Goku. I, like, there's no way you could sit there and say, like, that, that's well-planned if they just go base Goku, base Goku, base Goku. All of those Gokus getting a character is not the problem. It's the fact that it was all at the same time, right? Like, you know, we need a new Super Saiyan Goku right now. So it's not really that big of a deal that we're going to get another Super Saiyan Goku because Super Saiyan Goku has been power crept in Dokkan. So it's like in 2023, I, it really did not feel like they had good planning for these releases and stuff like that. Uh, most of the characters and the teams just didn't, did not really feel that strong. Now, 2024 has had way better characters, so like Beast, who can, you know, protect things, and Cell Max, who can protect things, stuff like that. But this year, like, the way everything has flowed together actually does feel like they had large planning ahead of time. Because it's like, I, I mean, 
to me, the Topo celebration is the biggest example of this, right? Because it's like they dropped Topo, right? Who eventually, you know, so they dropped Topo here, setting up special pose, setting up Boo Saga for Golden Week, and setting up Universe 11 in July for the Goku and Frieza fight. So it, it's like, you know, they dropped this Dokkan Fest that is splintering and helping a bunch of teams. Plus, Topo also fits Super Bosses, the, the year wide theme. We could point out a bunch of this stuff, right? A lot of these super easy A's, you know, people, again, I, I feel like my thoughts on super easy are a little bit different from most people. Most people are just really excited that like this, you know, maybe like there's some players who this is their first unit, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and he's now good again, right? Like him, you know, being good again after, you know, five years is awesome. But what I'm really liking is it's filling in holes for teams. I, I feel like the best example of this is actually super easy A Goku Black who is right here, and and super easy a Kid Buu. Awesome. Amazing. Super, like, that is where super easy a is actually, like, like I, 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 it'll bring a tear to my eye. It's so good, right? Like, really, you know, super easy a is made to save villains. That's exactly what it is. Because there's always going to be more hero characters. Villains, you know, can be able to, to cook with this. So the schedule is looking so perfect. Here is their time to fix Frieza. And it's actually now on the table in front of us, very obvious. Frieza, you know, Space Traveling Wars is part of his intro and he needs Terrifying Conquerors. Well, we just got step one towards Frieza having a legitimate team, and that's L.R. Turles, who, if L.R. Turles... So, I mean, this is, I guess, you know... Uh, damn, it took me kind of a long time to circle back around to BoJack, but, I mean, I set up. It all made sense, I think. We come to BoJack. BoJack... Um, so, I'm thinking... This guy will probably easy A during the celebration. So then it's all of a sudden like this character easy A's, Bojack easy A's. We have this Frieza ready to go. And then potentially Dokkan Fest LR Bojack or Carnival LR Bojack. Let's just look at, I guess we'll look at transformed. Well, no, I I'm going to guess maybe just like start of turn full power Bojack. Because it would just synergize super well. If this guy easy aid base Bojack, then we could do this. Damn, what if they super easy aid the Galactic Warriors? I know people would say, oh, but they... Because literally, like, they easy aid at almost the same time as in Kid Goku. But I know they easy aid at almost the same time as in Kid Goku, right? In 2022. But they're also a 2017 character, man. I, how fire... Listen, hold up. The writing is fire. If they're going to super easy him. I don't care. I mean, I'm not, you know, like super coping for it. But I'm just saying, if they super easy a this guy, uh, all of a sudden we've built a very nasty villain team very fast. I'm just pointing that out. That's all I'm doing. So let's just pull up like this Bojack right here. Um, So but l let's look at like his category. So again, he's got space traveling warriors, right? Like he's on terrifying conquerors. He's on a bunch of these teams. I... Damn, um, okay. Looking at Bojack's categories, holy shit. I, okay, here's what I want. I want Carnival LR DBZ Broly, Dokkan Fest LR Super Saiyan Goku, um, Dokkan Fest LR Bojack, and then Carnival LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is what I want. Well, no, damn, but this Gohan does need, no, the Gohan's gotta be the Dokkan Fest. Because this Gohan doesn't have a Dokkan Fest. He has to be the Dokkan Fest, yeah. If they're going to do Bojack Part 2, I, I think he this guy is going to be the Dokkan Fest. So that would mean DBZ Broly Dokkan Fest, Carnival Super Saiyan Goku, uh, for the 50th time. <laughs> Hold on, let me pull up the list of Carnival LRs. Yeah, here, here here's the Carnival LRs. Where I, I <laughs> Bro, they were so sick. They were, like, like how dirty were they? All right, the first two of the first three is Super Saiyan Goku. That shit is so foul. Yeah, so these are our Carnival LRs. I think number thirteen is gonna be Super Saiyan Goku, and 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 then I guess fourteen will be Bojack. But Bojack is a great like villain to be really good. Oh, I I need to get this point in. So people will say, although I was on board with Kid Goku versus Sima Kid Piccolo. We know that. I thought that would work well. Um, but people, I I've seen a lot of this of. Oh, Dragon Ball Saga can't work, but Bojack can, huh? And it would be a good point, but, 
Bojack is paired with this guy. And which kill like it 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 it's it works because Bojack is a villain with a Super Saiyan. Right? Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. This is a big hype character. This gets butts in seats, credit cards swiped for Dokkan. Like, like, you know, like the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan like this is raw. He's sick. He's nasty, right? So I do think that Bojack, I mean, just Bojack as like a standalone Dokkan Fest SLR or something like that, fuck no. But when it, he's paired with Gohan, it'll work, right? It's the same thing. Like a, a lot of these, I mean, to be, I would say like Cell, Frieza, and Kid Boo, like they're reasonably hyped enough that it's not a big deal for them. But some of these villain characters, it's they could be part of like a dual fest just because of the Super Saiyan character they're likely paired up with. Janemba, I feel like, is a popular enough character he could kind of go on his own. Uh, Cooler probably is, although, I mean, he was paired up with a Super Saiyan, of course. So, yeah, th th this, this is what would work the best, I think, for the, the format of the celebration. So, we get Dokkan Fest LR DBZ Broly, Carnival LR Super Saiyan Goku, Carnival LR Bojack, and then Dokkan Fest uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. For Gohan... They could just, do, so this right here, Gohan Youth, look at this, basically untouched. So we could just get base Gohan, and then I, I think they could just do him like Kefla. So, you know, second turn transforms into Super Saiyan, turn after that transforms into Super Saiyan 2, boom. I think that's a huge W. I, I think that would work good. And then for Bojack, right, you know, we easy a this Bojack. Turles is just easy a um, and then that's, that's the major ones. I mean, you know, then we'd have Frieza and then if, if Frieza is right here, I've mentioned this before. If Frieza is like the third or fourth best character on the team, he's going to work pretty well, right? Like if you have this guy in slot two, this guy in slot three, and then like, you know, King Kong defense Bojack in slot one, we're cooking, we're cooking just period. So now all of a sudden, the scheduling and stuff like that, it's all coming together. Dokkan can make power creep as disgusting as they have when the plan is this tight, where all these releases are really filing in order. I think one of the most important things for Dokkan to do is to respect their Dokkan Fest exclusives. And this year, they've done that besides Frieza. Well, now is the time to kind of fix Frieza. And Frieza is not... Like, if I pull up my top TUR list, Frieza gets fixed, and he does not all of a sudden, oh, he's actually, like, the number three TUR or something like that. No, 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 no. I, I would not put Frieza on this top level, because he's just... He can't impact the fight just with, you know, solid defense and damage in slot two or three, the same way these characters can impact by defending slot one, Right? But Frieza could jump up. I, I mean, I could maybe even have him as as five. I think I could I could potentially get Frieza in front of Roshi. Cause, like, Roshi's really good, and his support is strong, and he can be pretty good defensively here and there. But, I mean, his team, you're dying a lot, right? The, the team I'm envisioning for Frieza right now is going to be kind of a buzzsaw because the, the synergy is going to be through the roof, right? Like, Bojack and Turles and this Frieza... Uh, their synergies are crazy. They all have big bad bosses, search for conquest, fierce battle. Like it's it's gonna be crazy. Like again, this is this is these two links is forty percent attack and defense from two links that all three of them have. And I mean, you know, like a carnival LR Bojack or something like that would have that as well. And we could potentially even get more additions to the team um, because we have this Turles from movie three easy Aang, I, I mean, we could see a lot of other, I think, random movie stuff happen. Um, if they're not going to do the second Broly movie, maybe they'll save Trunks and Goten. Or, you know, maybe there'll be a Bio Broly celebration down the line. You know, like the April 1st Dokkan Fest or the June 1st Dokkan Fest, something like that. And, oh, by the way, I do think... Oh, I had the... the I've gotten so much screen time out of this. Uh, so, LR Turles already off the board. Look at this. Already gone there. I mean, we, there's a lot of other potential movie easy A's we could see. I don't think they're going to touch the Fusion Reborn Super Gogeta movie, but you never know. They could. Um, you know, we have Tapian and Minosh up there. Like, we've got a lot of movie characters kind of, like, hanging around all over that I think could easy A. Bojack 
And I, I mean, I guess, yeah, that Gohan, I, I didn't even talk about it, but I mean, this guy could easily easy a two. I, damn. We probably are going to get like a power creep event, huh? Because I feel like, like these teams I'm looking at could potentially be so strong. I, I mean, look at how good L. Arturlis is. I, like, I saw some people going, hey, so, like, I saw, like, a Dumbo. I'll, I'll directly call Minato out by name for being a Dumbo. Minato disrespected L. Arturlis by even mentioning Tech Jiren in the same breath. Minato, you doing okay, bud? No, dude, L. Arturlis is levels above Tech Jiren. Way above. Turles is going to be super good. It's just a matter of him getting a team. And unfortunately, DBZ Broly, I mean, it, it can. We could run Planetary Destruction, but it's not going to be where this guy's going to be at his best. This guy wants to be run on like a terrifying conqueror, space shoving warrior type setup. And Bojack can provide that. It's Bojack, not DBZ Broly. So, I mean, we potentially are looking to be in a really good spot. Planetary Destruction, Space Traveling Warriors, Terrifying Conquerors, Movie Bosses. All of these could be crazy setups very, very soon. So, let me know what you guys think. But um, I do think that the best version of this celebration that would maximize the most teams, um, you know, fix the, the one glaring weakness of the, the 2024 for Dokkan, which is Frieza's weakness, mostly because he can't be run on a, on a quality team. I mean, we fix that, and no matter what, this is already locked in as the best year in Dokkan history. It, easily, easily. It, it's, there is no discussion. The second I hear someone utter anything other than, yes, it's the best, I, I, my, my, I close my ears. My ears are closed. I'm sorry. I, this is just so far and away the best year ever in Dokkan history, and they can just keep it going perfectly with BoJack. So, again, I, I think we move in to part two for movie nine, instead of movie 10 would be better overall it does make sense too if we consider that they already easy aid gohan and goten right like i they already easy aid them i guess to be fair this broly is from the second movie but i mean they could still just easy aid him ah damn ah, that is a ah that does make me worried huh broly is just sitting there and that's that's not broly from the first movie it's broly from the second movie i mean they could still just easy him and not really cover movie 10 stuff that's what I hope happens, because I think a Bojack and Gohan version of this is just so fire. And then, like, this Trunks Easy A's, this Gohan is the banner unit with Broly, and then we also have, you know, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan in Part 2, and this Gohan's Easy A in Part 2, and just cold, like, hybrids is a cold-blooded killing machine immediately, right? With, you know, Add Beast and Future Gohan. Future Gohan where he's the only domain on a team is definitely good and definitely runnable, by the way. Future Gohan's biggest issue would be domain clashing. But if we could just run pure hybrids and he's the only domain there, we're good. So I, it's on a silver platter right there for Dokkan to literally make, you know, movie hero top tier, hybrid Saiyans top tier, uh, potentially, you know, um, bond a parent and child or earthbred fighters. Hopefully maybe Goku would run. I, I would love Goku to have, although damn, I guess, I mean, Piccolo and Vegeta from movie eight, obviously are not earthbred fighter or bond a parent and child. Cause remember the Broly movie happens before trunks kills, uh, before cell kills trunks, but the Broly movie happens before cell kill trunks. Um, which means Vegeta from the Broly movie is not on Bond, a parent and child is what that means. Cause that's the exact before and after moment of Vegeta being added to Bond, a parent and child is uh, cell killing trunks. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, hopefully we see father Bojack return. Um, I agree. This is not really a cardinal LR worthy character, but again, when you pair him with this guy, I, I think as a dual fest, it becomes fine. So let me know what you guys think and I'll catch y'all next time.